Hello everybody and welcome to another Dave Does Reviews here on the channel. And today I got down watching a very interesting movie called Train to Busan. Shout out to you Gary for commenting down under our movie title fan movie requests. And yeah, if you want to see more movies and you want to hear more reviews from me, do what Gary did. And go check out that video and leave a comment now. With that being said, let's talk about this very interesting foreign zombie movie, Train to Busan. So, the movie starts off basically where you see this quarantined zone. So you automatically assume, okay... Something has gone terribly wrong. Well, the movie begin movie also states that there's like this chemical issue to where the outbreak takes place. So automatically you know, okay, quarantine areas, chemically chemicals, bad air. Okay, this is gonna get very, very weird. But the way they do this particular zombie movie is very, very good because as soon as you get bit you don't take your time getting infected you get infected just like that i mean it is a split two seconds and you're infected and let's talk about the zombies because the zombies in this movie were absolutely amazing they are fast they are the runner type zombies not walkers they are runners, and they will feast. They, they got the freaking weird... And they're wanting to feast on you. So, that's already a win in my book. I like when zombies are done correctly. Second major thing I liked about this movie was the characters. The characters were interesting, especially... The little girl. So, backstory real quickly here, guys. The father is a businessman, so he's never around. And the little girl is super impacted by that. Her dad's never home, and she doesn't like that very much. It's gotten to the point so bad that she wants to go to Busan to go be with her mom permanently. So that plays a heavy role in the entire movie. And then you have this other dude with his pregnant wife, who he is also a very main character of this movie because he is selfless. He is wanting to make sure everybody else is protected and you can see that. And he wants to do everything in his power to help everybody. See, in zombie movies, that's what you need. You need selfless type of characters. Because you're in an outbreak, zombies are trying to kill you, and if you don't work together as a unit, you're going to die. And another character that's very, very good is the main villain The main villain of the movie. He's a rich man. He's an asshole. He don't care about nobody. He wants to make sure that he only lives. And by the ways he does that is by sacrificing other people, throwing them in the way of zombies so when they get bit he lives but guess what towards the end of the movie he finally got his just desserts and speaking of towards the end of the movie this whole movie sets up the father changing his views because the father is very self selfish during this time frame and you can tell that just by the way they they do all these mo they do all the all the stuff for another example, the little girl notices somebody was in trouble. She tries to go over there and help help them. The father rips her over there and says, why are you doing this? You don't need to be doing good right now. And the little girl says, why are you so selfless? This is why I want to go see mommy because you're always selfish. That's very good character dialogue. Oh, and another good character in this movie was the hobo. The hobo also 
was wanting to look out for other people. Which is also good. So with that all being stated, this movie was very, very good. Yes, it's your typical zombie movie. You got your kills. You got your yada, yada, yada. So yes, for my first foreign zombie movie, I highly enjoyed it. And I give it a high, high recommendation. You should go on Netflix and you should go look at it yourself. Well, guys, this has been Dave here with Dave Does Reviews. And train to Habusin, for me, was great. So, I'm going to need you to do something here for me, guys. Okay? If you like this short little review, I need you to go to my channel, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon, and make sure you tap on notifications so you never miss another movie review from me. Have a wonderful day, guys. Bye.